Greetings, everyone, and welcome once again to the Baptist Bread Devotional and Scripture Song Broadcast for Saturday, July 24th, and today's topic is titled, The Past is the Past. And before I get started, I'd like to greet you as always in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who is the Lamb of God, which taketh away the sin of the world, and hope and pray that he is your Lord and Savior today. <clears throat> Amen. All right, so we got a full broadcast today. We're going to sing today's scripture song and then get into to the topic and then get into the um, hymn story here. So <clears throat> let me get started here with uh, the, uh, the scripture song from Isaiah 51, verse 6. And then we'll press play and sing along with Brother Dean and Sister Patty. Amen. Isaiah 51, 6. Lift up your eyes to the heavens, and look on the earth beneath, for the heavens shall vanish away like smoke, and the earth shall wax old like a garment, and they will dwell in like land manner. But my salvation shall be forever, and my righteousness shall not be abolished. Amen. Lift up your eyes to the heavens. And look upon the earth beneath. Lift up your eyes, lift up your eyes, lift up your eyes. For the heavens shall vanish away like smoke, and the earth shall wax old like a garment, and they that dwell therein shall die in like manner. My salvation shall be forever, and my righteousness shall not be abolished. Lift up your eyes, lift up your eyes, lift up your eyes to the heavens. And look upon the earth beneath. Lift up your eyes, lift up your eyes, lift up your eyes. The heavens shall vanish away like smoke, and the earth shall wax old like a garment, and they that dwell therein shall die in like manner, but my salvation shall be forever, and my righteousness shall not be abolished. Lift up your eyes, lift up your eyes, my salvation shall be forever. Righteousness shall not be abolished. Lift up your eyes, lift up your eyes. Amen. <clears throat> All right, praise the Lord. Okay, so we will do that again towards the end of the broadcast. And now it's time to get into today's topic titled once again for this. 24th day of July, the past is the past, and the passage is from Philippians <clears throat> 3, 13 through 14, which says, Brethren, I count not myself to ap have apprehended, but this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind, and reaching forth unto those things which are before, I press toward the mark for the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. Philippians 3, 13-14. And this is a good scripture song too. Amen. I uh, sung it a while back. Uh, perhaps uh, I have to go back and uh, sing it again here. Look for it and maybe sing it in the next couple days. Amen. Alright, so today's author is W.T. And that would be the initials for... Let me see here. W.T., that would be Brother Willard Thomas. And it says he is deceased, and he lived in Gainesville, Georgia. <clears throat> All right, so let me read you what he wrote here. Looks like a poem that he wrote. and says, The past is the past, the Savior said. 
Brother, Brother Lazarus is no longer dead. The woman at the well was cast until Jesus told her the past is the past. The maniac of Gadara, wild and untamed, fettered by shekels, bound by chains, like a ship of the sea with a broken mast, until Jesus told him the past is the past. Then Nicodemus, educated and learned, still in his heart for peace he yearned, he trusted the law to save him at last, until Christ showed him, The past is the past. And what of you, my precious friend, as life marches on to its certain end? Was there a, uh, was there ever a time by faith you did grasp and hear Jesus whisper, The past is the past? Hmm. <clears throat> Pretty good little poem there. Amen. So... Must trust Jesus your Savior, and can't live in the past, and nothing else can save your soul but Jesus Christ, and what he did on the cross, amen. Alright, well that was a good little short uh, poem there, um, titled, The Past is the Past, and again the passage was Philippians three thirteen through 14 <clears throat> amen. Alright, now it's time to get into today's hymn, and hymn story, and so I found, uh, this hymn, and I have the CD here. It's titled Instrumental Hymns by Andy Leftwich. And uh, so, amen. That's uh, his CD cover right there. And uh, so this is titled How Great Thou Art. <clears throat> amen. So try to sing this hymn here and then get into the hymn story. Amen. <clears throat> All right, let me see if I can try to get the tune here. This was written by uh, Carl uh, uh, Boberg, and uh, it says it's a Swedish folk melody. And it was written in 1885, and the pastor will be from Isaiah 45, 18, so let me see here. i get the tune here. <clears throat> uh, nope. Alright. Okay, so let's see here if I can try to Remember the tune? Alright, <clears throat> here we go. Oh, Lord my God, when I in awesome wonder consider all the worlds thy hands have made, I see the stars I Hear the rolling thunder, thy power throughout the universe displayed. Then sings my soul, my Savior God to thee, how great thou, how great thou art, how great thou art. Oh, well, that was a... Awful attempt. <clears throat> Sorry about that. All right, we'll just go ahead and try to read the stanzas here and play the background music because I failed miserably on trying to sing that a cappella. All right, here we go. All right, again, it says, O oh Lord, my God, when I am awesome wonder, consider all the worlds thy hands have made. I see the stars, I hear the rolling thunder, thy power. Throughout the universe displayed, then sings my soul, my Savior God to thee, how great thou art, how great thou art. Then sings my soul, my Savior God to thee, how great thou art, how great thou art. When thou, uh, so when through the woods and forest glades I wander and hear the birds sing sweetly in the trees when I look down from lofty mountain grander and hear the brook and feel the gentle breeze and when I think that God his son not sparing sent him to die I scarce can take it in that on the cross my uh, burden gladly bearing he bled and died to take away my sin Amen. When Christ shall come with shout of acclamation, 
and take me home. What joy shall fill my heart. Then I shall bow in humble adoration and there proclaim, My God, how great thou art. Then sings my soul, my Savior God to thee, How great thou art, how great thou art. Then sings my soul, my Savior God to thee, How great thou art, how great thou art. Amen. <clears throat> Alright, so that was the hymn. Now it's time to get into the story. Again, the title of the hymn is How Great Thou Art, written in 1885. And the passage is from Isaiah 45, 18. So, grab my Bible here and go to Isaiah 45, 18. Isaiah 45, and verse 18. Alright, so 45, 18. Let's see here, it says... For thus saith the Lord that created the heavens, God himself that formed the earth and made it. He hath established it, he created it, not in vain. He formed it to be established. I am the Lord, and there is none else. Uh, amen. Praise the Lord. Alright, put that up there. Alright, so now go ahead and get into the hymn story here. It says, uh... Carl Boberg, a 26-year-old Swedish minister, wrote a poem in 1885 which he called O uh, Stor uh, God, O Mighty God. Uh, the words literally translated to English said, uh, When I the world consider which thou hast made by thy almighty word, and how the web of life thou Thou wisdom guideth, and all creation feedeth at thy uh, board. Then doth my soul burst forth in song of praise. O great God, O great God. Amen. <clears throat> praise the Lord. Alright, so let's see here. Let's go back to the beginning. Alright, so continuing on, it says here, His poem was published and forgotten, or so he thought. Several years later, Carl was surprised to hear it being sung to the tune of an old Swedish melody, but the poem and hymn did not achieve widespread fame. Hearing this hymn in Russia, English missionary Stuart Hine was so moved that he modified and expanded the words and made his own arrangement of the Swedish melody. He later said his first three verses were inspired line upon line by Russia's rugged uh, Carpathian Mountains. The first verse was composed when he was caught in a thunderstorm in a Carpathian village. The second as he heard the birds sing near the Romanian border. And the third as he witnessed many of the Carpathian mountain dwellers coming to Christ. Amen. The final verse was written after Dr. Hine returned to Great Britain. Uh, sometime later, Dr. Edward Orr uh, heard How Great Thou Art being sung by uh, uh, Nega uh, tribes people in uh, Assam in India and decided to bring it back to America for use in his own meetings. And there's a little thing down here at the bottom that says, See the story behind the hymn, Search Me, O God. So, I'm not sure if I did that one yet or not. I'll have to go back later and look at that. Alright, so continuing on. Uh, it says, um, uh, When he introduced it at a conference in California, it came to the attention of music, music publisher Tim Spencer, who con contacted Mr. Hine and had the song copyrighted. It was published and recorded during the 1954 Billy Graham Crusade in uh, Paraguay Arena. George Beverly Shea was given a leaflet containing this hymn. He sang it to himself and shared it with other members of the Graham team. Though not used in London, it was introduced the following year to audiences in Toronto. In the New York Crusade of 1957, it was sung by Bev Shia 99 times, with the choir joining the majestic refrain. 
Then sings my soul, my Savior God, to thee, how great thou art, how great thou art. Amen. Pretty good story there. And hymns, him, amen, how great thou art. Alright, so, that is the end of today's him and him story. And tomorrow's him and him story will be from the hymn, Standing on the Promises, written by R. Kelso Carter. Amen. And it was written in 1886, and the passage is from 2 Corinthians 1.20. So that will be tomorrow's him and him story. Amen. All right. Put that aside there. And again, if you would like to get uh, your hands on this CD here, this CD of instrumental hymns by Andy Leftwich. Amen. I'm not sure if there's a uh, address here. Let's see, it's uh, got here at www.andyleftwich.com is the website, so you can order that on, on the website there. I'm not sure if he's got any other CDs that he's written. Pretty good there. All right. Amen. So finish that up. Finish listening to that here really quick. A little instrumental. Amen. All right. Amen. All right, now it's time to sing some scripture songs, and we'll do yesterday's, and then conclude with today. So yesterday's was from Hebrews one eight, and that's twenty third. So press play there. Amen. Hebrews one eight. But, but unto the Son he saith, Thy throne, O God, God is forever and ever. A scepter of righteousness is the scepter of Thy kingdom. Amen. Unto the sun he saith, Thy throne, O God, is forever and ever. Unto the sun he saith, Thy throne, O God, is forever and ever. A scepter of righteousness is the scepter of Thy kingdom. God is forever and ever. Unto the sun he saith, Thy throne, O God, is forever and ever. Unto the sun he saith, Thy throne, O God, is forever and ever. The scepter of righteousness is the scepter of thy kingdom. Thy throne, O God, is forever and ever. Conclude with today's Isaiah, Isaiah 56, 1, 6, 1, 6, 1, 6, 1, 6. To the heavens and look upon, upon the earth beneath, beneath for the heavens shall vanish away like smoke, and they shall wax old like a garment, and they that dwell therein shall dwell in like manner. But my salvation shall be forever, and my righteousness shall not be abolished. Here we go. Lift up your eyes to the heavens and look upon the earth beneath. Lift up your eyes, lift up your eyes, lift up your eyes, for the heavens shall vanish away like smoke in the earth shall wax old like a garment, and they that dwell therein shall die in like manner. But my salvation shall be forever, and my righteousness shall not be abolished. Lift up your eyes, lift up your eyes. 
lift up your eyes to the heavens and look upon the earth beneath. Lift up your eyes, lift up your eyes, lift up your eyes. The heavens shall vanish away like smoke and the earth shall wax old like a garment, and they that dwell therein shall die in like manner. But my salvation shall be forever, and my righteousness shall not be abolished. Lift up your eyes, lift up your eyes, my salvation shall be forever, and my righteousness shall not be abolished. Lift up your eyes, lift up your eyes. Amen. Praise the Lord. All right. That was a good scripture song there. Amen. All right. So it's time to wrap it up. But before I go, let me Give you tomorrow's scripture song and then tomorrow's topic for the Baptist Bird devotional. So tomorrow will be the 25th and we'll be singing Psalms 118 verse 26. It says, Blessed be he that cometh in the name of the Lord. We have blessed you out of the house of the Lord. Amen. So that'll be tomorrow's uh, scripture song. And then tomorrow's topic will be titled Men of Prayer. And the passage is from 1 Thessalonians 5.17. Amen. So that will be tomorrow's um, devotional. Praise the Lord. And amen. All right. Well, if you'd like to get uh, a box of these devotionals, uh, here's the web the address here. I'll give you the web uh, address and then the web address. So you can write them at Baptist Bread at 37055 Joy Road, Westland, Michigan. 48185 and the phone number is 734-425-0466 and their email is bb at joybaptist.com and then brother tim green's information is evangelist tim green at p.o box one day heights ohio 45150 and the website is www.timgreenministries.org amen and this is the uh, book cover here for this month and next month, July and August. So if you order now, you might still get uh, this month and next month. Amen. And then, of course, the scripture songs are available on Brother Dean and Sister Patty's website at www.dailyscripturesongs.com. And this is the hymn or the scripture song book that I uh, use to sing these scripture songs. Amen. And it says uh, here on the front cover, the Lord was ready to save me. Therefore, we will sing my songs to the stringed instruments all the days of our life in the house of the Lord. Isaiah thirty-eight twenty, And then uh, and at the bottom here it says a scripture song for all the days of the year. 365 songs with 573 verses from the old King James Bible. And I just gave you their web address, which again is www.dailyscripturesongs.com and in the back here is the CD covers and there's kind of a glare there but uh, that's the CD covers for each month amen and he's got a um, he's got the favorites amen and then also some other stuff on his website and uh, pray for them they're in Guyana right now doing VBS uh, here next week I believe they start next week so pray for that and uh, so amen all right, well, that'll be it for today, so thanks for watching, and may the Lord richly bless you until next time. And remember, only Jesus Christ can save your soul. Amen, so trust him today, and he'll wash away all your sin. All right, well, see you, Lord willing, tomorrow. Amen. Bye for now.